Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Newman. And I'm Tyler Yates. This is Campbell Now. Campbell Baseball is celebrating a solid start to the season after taking on Rutgers in a three-game series this weekend. Campbell won the first two games but was unable to continue the streak on Sunday. Campbell will continue their season when they take on East Carolina at home this Tuesday at 5 p.m. Campbell is celebrating a strong performance in the annual North Carolina Independent Colleges and Universities Ethics Bowl. For the first time in school history, Campbell made it to the semifinals of the competition. Campbell's team consisted of five undergraduate students who advanced to the semifinal round with a perfect 4-0 record. Campbell men's basketball is enjoying a dominant victory against Presbyterian on Saturday. The Campbells led by more than 20 points at halftime and ended the game with a score of 74 to 57. The Campbell swim team is celebrating a successful season after sixth place finish in the Coastal Collegiate Sports Association competition. The swim team broke a 10 school records and the swimmers had a total of 39 personal bests. Campbell hopes to build on this success for next season. Campbell women's basketball is looking to regroup after a loss to Presbyterian during the weekend. The Camels fought hard but were unable to secure the victory. They will return to action on Wednesday when they host Winthrop at 7 p.m. Campbell softball is now 5-3 after a tough weekend at the Carolina Classic. Campbell lost to Western Kentucky and South Carolina during the weekend. The Camels hope to bounce back on Wednesday when they travel to UNC Greensboro. The Department of Spiritual Life is hosting another Garden Work Day this Tuesday. Students can work in the garden from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. You can find more information on Campbell's website. The 39th President of the United States, Jimmy Carter, is now in hospice care at his home in Georgia. He has had multiple hospital visits in, in recent months and decided not to re receive any more medical treatment so he can spend time with his family. Carter is 98 years old, which makes him the oldest president in history. Finally today, the Campus Activity Board will be taking students to a Carolina Hurricanes game this spring. Students will have the opportunity to participate in the Hurricanes fan funnel and sit in the lower level seats. To sign up, go to the Student Union Help Desk this Tuesday and be ready to pay $20, a discount over the regular price. Thanks for watching. I'm Tyler Yates. And I'm Sarah Newman. See you next week on Campbell Now.